And our final alumni fellow that we'll be honoring today is Dylan Soap from the School of Applied Studies. Dylan is a licensed clinical addictions counselor, and he has been clinical program director for the Valley Hope Addiction Treatment and Recovery location in Atchison since 2018, and the Oakland Park outpatient location since 2021. He provides supervision to dozens of staff members who provide programming for a daily average patient population of 180. Megan O'Connor, executive director of the Valley Hope Foundation said, his soul is so kind, and he really cares about our patients and their families. He relates really well with everyone he meets and is well-respected and liked. Susan Warren, another colleague at Valley Hope, said, it's uh, through his compassionate listening, uh, open-mindedness, and willingness to state when he's not in agreement and in, most, in, and in the most charming way, that it really makes one think about changing to his way of thinking. And colleague Rayla Williams said, continue to shine, it's contagious. Deborah Altus, a Washburn professor who taught Dylan's human development class said, I knew right away Dylan was going to be a remarkable student because he sat in the front row, asked insightful questions and showed a deep intellectual curiosity that was exciting for me as a professor to witness. Previously, Dylan worked for the Topeka Municipal Court, where he helped individuals address addiction, legal, family, employment, and education complications, uh, as well as supervised uh, sentenced individuals. Dylan's mom said, I see your hard work, kindness, morals, and values. You inspire me to be a better person. And his daughter, Adriana Delgado said, I'm actually planning to go to Washburn because of the amazing experiences my dad says he had at Washburn. He's very involved in my life. You name it, he's there cheering me on or having hour-long conversations with my semester teacher at every conference. Tremendously supportive, he backs me in everything I choose to do. Dylan, on behalf of the Washburn Alumni Association Foundation and the School of Applied Studies, we are pleased to honor you as a Washburn Alumni Fellow. Tina mentioned uh, you know, lawyers typically don't cry, but counselors do. <laughs> I had a real hard time uh, getting through this uh, without a whole lot of tears. You know, I want to say thanks to the Alumni Association and the nominating committee and all of the people that are involved in today's event. Um, you know, I spent some time reflecting on kind of what brought me here today, um, and I couldn't help but really think about this, that there's been so much uh, kindness and love that's been shown to me in uh, my whole life, and there's been so many people who took a special interest in me, and uh, I've really been shown so much grace so much mercy. You know, if I got what I deserved, it wouldn't be me sitting up here talking to you guys today. And uh, so I really can't share much more without just pausing and reflecting that uh, it's really because of some amazing people in this world that, uh, you know, I'm here today. And I want to start by talking about my mom, Kathy, who's here. She's a single mom with four boys and worked tirelessly in multiple jobs uh, and really just to provide us just a little bit better life than we should have had. And um, she would have taught me a lot about how to be a parent, how to be an employee, how to be a human being. And my wife, Karen's here, and she, um, she really props up our entire family there's uh, nothing that I've done in my life that uh, uh, I'd be able to do without her. Um, she's supportive of whatever I'm doing in my education, my career, any kind of personal things. And I've also got uh, two daughters here, Claire and Adrian. They're so kind, they're so funny, and they really honor me in so many ways. They're absolutely wonderful kids, and I'm so grateful for them. 
And I also want to say just a little bit about the organization that I work for, Valley Hope. Um, you know, one of the things we do, we, it was kind of glad that you know, we, on a daily census, through all the levels of care, we treat about 180 patients. You know, and that's our inpatient, outpatient, continued care. But I gotta tell you, we've got some of the most fantastic people on earth. We treat some of the greatest human beings that uh, I feel like are on this earth. And uh, uh, our patients are really talented, kind people, and they treat me so well every day. Is uh, just uh, wonderful to be able to go to work, and uh, you know I think some time over the years people say stuff like, "Oh, it's a thankless profession. I've been being on helping." And I was like, "No, no. Every single day, patients, their loved ones, families, uh, over and over, express the gratitude uh, for the help that we've offered their lives." And so we have great patients, and I get the opportunity to lead a team of people, uh, you know, case managers, counselors, chaplains, etc. And they show me so much love despite my shortcomings. I mean, I am not that good of a supervisor or a leader in a whole bunch of ways. And they are so forgiving and they're so graceful to me and so loving. They're really great people and they do fantastic work in the lives of patients. And so uh, they give so much to others. And I'm really uh, blessed to be able to lead that team. And I also work for an organization that has really believed in me and really given me a lot of opportunities that I, you know, I really didn't deserve. Um, they've really, uh, they've opened doors for me and they've been there to support me, uh, you know, in the challenges that happen when those doors are opened. Um, from the facility, the leadership team, to the home office, to the senior leadership, to, our, to the CEO of Valley Home, but they've been wonderful to me. And, and I just, now I want to circle a little bit to Washburn University. And, uh, you know, I wasn't going to bring this up, probably because I wrote it in my write-up and they deleted it. And so I thought well, maybe it's not appropriate to talk about it. But I was like, oh, they can't stop me from saying this. I'm going for it. Uh, and the story just goes like this. And, and uh, I think it was uh, Holly that brought up Katie McGinnis. So I'm going to. Piggyback off of that, and Kim did too. But uh, as an 18, 19 year old student, I went to a community college and I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. I was lost as a kid, and I did very poorly. I had a 1.5 GPA. And then, you know, community college, and they say, you know, kind of don't come back. That's so. <laughs> and so I applied to, I'm just going to say, I applied to Katie with a 1.5 GPA. And I got the letter in the mail, I hoped it did. We want to inform you that you are not welcome. <laughs> and uh, I called, I called, I called them on the phone. If there's any KU, my wife is a KU social worker, law and grad, and so whatever, you know, I go to basketball games now. I'm trying to get over it, but, but I called them and I just appealed to them and I said, Look, I'm a little old, you know, I, I want to come back to school, I want to do better. And this is what she said to me. It's people like you that bring down the GPA of the entire university. <laughs> and it's funny now, but it hurt then. <laughs> and I really want to call on the phone and say, no, it's not people like me that bring down the GPA of the university. It's people like me who are so grateful to give them an opportunity that they'll do anything they can to turn their life around. And so instead of calling Kate to tell them that, I'm here today to say that. Right. That's Washburn admitting on academic probation. <laughs> the alumni fellow sitting in front of you was admitted on academic probation. <laughs> Professor Rick Ellis in the Family and Human Services Department, and he just took an interest in me. And he said, well, let's, let's help you succeed. Let's help you find your way. And I studied at Washburg for seven years after that, and I maintained a 4.0 GPA in the seven years that followed. And I say, thank you to Washburn University, because uh, they believed in me. They were gracious to me. They were kind. They were forgiving.
forgiving. They were willing. Um, they showed me mercy. And the Family and Human Services Department really guided me academically, professionally, and personally. Uh, and they really modeled to me. I, I hope the grace and the compassion and the love and generosity that I try to show today. Uh, and it's apparent to me that, you know, the, the recognition, you know, the things that were said about me, it, it's really as a result of the love and grace and mercy that has helped shape my heart. And uh, it's through that that I've been able to, you know, do any of these things, the accomplishments that we're talking about today. And so I really want to take a moment to thank the people that are here uh, who have shown me that grace and mercy and love. And I you understand know, there's a lot more of them out there. Um, and I want to share that it, it really makes a difference. It's what I, I want you to know is that being kind to people, being loving, and uh, giving people second opportunities, uh, it makes a difference in people's lives. I'm one of those people. And I'm very thankful to Washburn and to all of you guys. I appreciate it.